Now, some of my favorite things are both giving and receiving great news and also the Baltimore Ravens. But when I can combine all three together in one, hmm, that's a beautiful thing right there. And today, that's exactly what we're going to do because at the start of OTAs, there were some big names in the building for the Baltimore Ravens. And that is great because that's an amazing way to start the offseason in the organized team activities. One of those big names was free agent acquisition. Big running back ticket, Derek Henry. He was in the building for OTAs today, and that says a lot about him because he let his yes mean yes. His word is real. Because I remember earlier, around when the Baltimore Ravens first signed Derrick Henry this offseason, he had his press conference and everything. He talked about how he wanted to show the team that he was committed to the Baltimore Ravens. He wanted to get to know different people in the organization. He wanted to get to know the coaching staff. He wanted to get to know his players this offseason, and he was going to be heavily involved with whatever they were going to be doing this offseason. So, of course, him saying that is one thing, but he showed that, oh, no, 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 I wasn't just talking to talk. So Derrick Henry was there in the building. And what makes this even more significant, that somebody like Derrick Henry, a veteran, he's been in the game, been there, done that. He's, he, he's been around for a minute. These OTAs are optional. They do not have to be there by any means. It is not a requirement at all. But he was not the only Baltimore Raven that was in the building today. Uh, some other names that were there were Roquan Smith. Uh, obviously a huge leader on these Baltimore Ravens, Rashad Bateman, who there had been a lot of talk about him this offseason. Nelson Aguilar, Tyler Linderbaum, Pat Ricard, and there were plenty more as well. A lot of the rookies, they showed up, they came through. Um, and again, this is not a requirement at all, but the fact that a lot of people are showing up, that's big. Now, real quick, a rundown of the OTAs. Again, the organized team activities, they began today, and it is the first of 10 practices over the next three weeks. And each and every one of those practices is optional so there is no live contact permitted uh, but there's seven on seven nine on sevens and 11 and 11 drills they are good to go with those but no contact though so you got to chill out you can't go hard yet it ain't training camp time yet you get there soon enough but it's not time yet and real quick just a rundown of these dates uh that ota is happening on and shout out to jameson hensley for providing this uh, the first week is may 20th obviously today and may 22nd and 23rd week two is may 28th then may 30th and 31st then week three is june 3rd and 4th and june 6th and 7th mandatory mini camp important dates to listen out for mandatory mini camp is june 11th through 13th which is the last practice before training camp begins in late july and training camp that's when you can really start hitting now mandatory mini camp is the middle of june then they get a nice month and change break until training camp happens, and that's when, hey, you might as well say that that's when football season really starts, because that's when it begins. So shout out to all the Baltimore Ravens that were in attendance today, and all the ones that are soon to follow. Now, some, some wide receiver news. Uh, a couple of days ago, the Baltimore Ravens, they waived undrafted rookie free agent wide receiver D'Angelo Hardy. Uh, who played college football at North Central College, and that left an empty roster spot for the Baltimore Ravens. But you know them Ravens, and if they got an empty roster spot, they fill it pretty fast, and they did exactly that today because they signed a familiar face. He may not have played for the Ravens before, but his daddy sure did, uh, and we all know from that 2000 Super Bowl team, Quadri Ishmael. Wide receiver, who was a big part of that Super Bowl team. And he was around a lot of powerful, big-time names on the Baltimore Ravens, but just really the NFL in general. Obviously, Ray Lewis. We know Ray Lewis. We're pretty familiar with that guy. Uh, Rob Woodson. Uh, Tony Saragusa, shout out to him. Uh, and also Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp still continuing to make a name for himself, um, not just around the NFL, but just in sports in general. But that was a very powerful, powerful team, man. But anyway, uh, Quadri Ishmael's son. He got signed by the Baltimore Ravens today. That is Kadir Ishmael. Let's read the report uh, that came from BaltimoreRavens.com. It said the Ravens are bringing back a familiar name. Kadir Ishmael, son of former Ravens receiver Quadri, has been signed to Baltimore's 90-man roster as an undrafted rookie free agent. The six foot six wide receiver was invited to the Ravens rookie minicamp and did enough to stick around. Uh, Kadir started his college career as a quarterback at Villanova, eventually transitioning to receiver. In the new position, he posted 182 yards on 11 receptions in 2021. He eventually transferred to Sanford, where he played two seasons, totaling 16 catches for 156 yards. Uh, Kadir went to John Carroll School in Bel Air, where he played football and basketball and ran track and field. He amassed 2,000 passing yards, 500 rushing yards, and 25 touchdowns on the gridiron in high school. So look! He played wide receiver now, but he played some college. Uh, he, I'm excuse me, he played some quarterback too. So 
Just in case, we, we might be able to run some little trick plays with him and whatnot. So, hey, he may be able to get involved with these Baltimore Ravens in more ways than one. But shout out to Kadir and shout out to his dad, uh, Quadri, because I know he's got to be super, super proud of him because that is a very, very big uh, accomplishment. So that, that that's great news for him. Now, in some not necessarily bad news, but great news for him personally. And again, it just shows that the Baltimore Ravens, they always putting people on. Uh, the Commanders, they are expected to hire Ravens Director of College Scouting, David Blackburn, as their Director of Player Personnel per sources. So, Ravens losing another coach. I didn't know you could lose coaches this late in the offseason. I thought that that was something that would just happen, like, maybe, like, in February and March and all that, while teams really build their roster, but... Commander say, no, no, we still poaching from Ravens staff. So shout out to him. Now, I got to give a special shout out to Nico Sports because they sent out this Lamar Jackson, this MVP football. And, and it goes over. It got all the stats from literally every single game. It got all the teams that they went up against. It got Lamar Jackson, his personal stats. It got every single career record that Lamar Jackson broke. And you, you know that's a lot of them. And for them to be able to fit all of that on the one football uh, that is a beautiful thing, but shout out to Nico Sports for this. I will definitely treasure this because it's very special to me. And y'all are very special to me. I appreciate y'all. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on. Leave a like on the video so you do not miss not a single update. I love you. I appreciate you. It's always great sharing great news with Team Keep It Clean. Y'all stay up. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay positive and stay being yourselves because you are very, very special. We out.